What's up guys, in this video we're going to put the complete NES game library on the NES Classic Edition using the easiest method available. When it was first discovered that you can install game ROMs to the NES Classic, there was an assumption that the NES Classic's onboard memory wasn't big enough to hold every NES game ROM. But there's great news, you can install every NES game and the NES Classic plays nearly every single one of them. If you're one of the lucky ones that was able to get your hands on an NES Classic, it's easy to have an entire NES library in the palm of your hand. So let's get started. What you'll need to do this is a micro USB cable that's capable of sending not only power, but data. I use the high quality micro USB that came with my Nvidia Shield, but you may be able to use the cable that comes with the NES Classic, but I haven't tested that myself. Next, you'll need to download HackChi2. This is a small, free, Windows-based software that allows you to put the games on the NES Classic, and more importantly, allows you to back up to 30 pre-installed games in case you want to revert to changes and go back to the factory default. And finally, you'll need a collection of game ROMs. We at Gaming Hookup do not want to promote piracy, so please only use NES ROMs of games you actually own. If you do own every single US NES game, for example, then you can Google Good NES to download the complete library of NES games for your PC, devices, and most importantly, for your NES Classic. The first thing you want to do is download the latest version of HackChi2 from the link in the video description. I downloaded the HackChi2 web installer. Once that's done downloading, install HackChi2 by double-clicking the .exe file and choosing Install. Note, if your antivirus complains about HackChi, turn off your antivirus or whitelist HackChi. I've looked at the source code and it's a safe program. Once HackChi is done installing, the program automatically opens and you can see your 30 pre-installed games as one file in the left panel. Now it's time to get your collection of game ROMs to put on the NES Classic. I have a folder here with every US NTSC region NES game ROM. Simply drag the entire folder to the left panel of the HackChi program. Depending on the game that you add, you may see some pop-ups that tell you when certain games will not work or require a patch to be downloaded and installed. You want to always choose yes to all. And if you're putting hundreds of game ROMs on your NES Classic, it can take a couple of minutes to complete this step. Once this step is done, the next step is downloading the cover art for all the games. In HackChi, click File, then choose Download Box Art for All Games. Again, if you have a lot of games, it can take a while to do this. If you're putting an entire NES library on the NES Classic, you won't need to have the original 30 games since they'll just be duplicates anyway. So uncheck the original 30 games on the left panel. So now you have every game that you want to install as well as all the cover art. The process of writing games to your NES Classic includes a step that backs up your device in case you want to return to just having the original 30 games installed. HackChi will dump your NES Classic's original kernel image to a file named kernel.img. This file is located at C, Users, Your Username, Documents, HackChi, Dump. Make sure you don't lose this file. If I were you, I'd copy it to a storage hard drive and also upload it to a cloud service like Google Drive or Dropbox. Now we're ready to actually install the games onto the NES Classic. Click Synchronize Selected Games with NES Mini. If this is the first time that you've ever installed games onto your NES Classic, HackChi will scan the location I mentioned a moment ago and it won't find that kernel.img file backup. This is completely normal. Click Yes to initiate the backup process. Now HackChi will pop up some instructions that you need to follow. These instructions put your NES Classic into developer mode. The first thing you need to do is make sure your NES Classic is turned off. Now you need to connect your NES Classic to your computer. Connect the micro USB cable to the back of your NES Classic and plug in the other end of your computer's USB port. Now hold the reset button and press the power button on your NES Classic and keep holding down reset for about 4 or 5 seconds. The power light should not come on. Now click the install driver button. A terminal window should pop up and if it says NES Mini not found sorry, simply X out the terminal window, press power on the NES Classic to make sure the device is off. Unplug the micro USB from the back, re-plug in the NES Classic, hold the reset, press power again, and then click the install driver button again. It might take a few tries to get this right. If it continues to not find your NES Classic no matter what you do, try using a different micro USB cable or choosing a different USB port on your computer. If you've done it right, the terminal window will pop up and tell you that it's found your NES Mini. Allow it to finish installing the driver and then press enter to exit the terminal window. Now HackChi will begin flashing a custom firmware onto your NES Classic. Then it will install the games, the cover art, and the game attributes such as whether the game is a single or two player. Once this process completes, you'll have the games permanently installed to your NES Classic. 
Now it's time to turn off the NES Classic and test it on your TV. If you put the entire library of over 700 NES games, the games will be sorted into folders. So that's it, you have a miniature NES with every single game on it. And this is a fun alternative to a flash cartridge such as an EverDrive N8. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button and subscribe to Gaming Hookup for future videos like this. I'm Recon with Gaming Hookup, thanks for watching.